This is today's weird but true news story. Our headline is Coronavirus <coughs> Geniuses. This is a listening comprehension video, so answer the questions as you listen to the story. All vocabulary, questions, and the script are in the description below this video. Check the timestamp below if you want to go straight to the listening. Today's weird but true news is a bit different. Because of recent events, it's been difficult to find one interesting story. So, what I wanted to do is tell you about four different ways that people have been very creative in such a difficult time. This situation has been tough for everybody, but I hope these mini-stories can inspire you in some way. But first, vocabulary. Lockdown. Noun. A situation in which people must stay where they are and may not enter or exit a building or rooms within said building. Drone. Noun. A type of small aircraft that flies without a pilot. Balcony. Noun. A raised platform that is connected to the side of a building and surrounded by a low wall or railing. Social distancing. Noun. Certain actions that are taken by public health officials to stop or slow down the spread of a highly contagious disease by making sure people stay at home and avoid public spaces. Mile. Noun. A unit of measurement equal to 5,280 feet, about 1,609 meters. Foot. Noun. A unit of measurement equal to one third of a yard, or 0 0.3048 meters, or 12 inches. Personnel. Noun. For people who work for a particular company or organization. Broadcast. Verb. To send out signals, programs, etc. by radio or television. Your questions are Where is the man when he is walking his dog? Why will many Japanese school students miss their graduation ceremonies? Why did the man run a marathon on a balcony? Without live sports, what are some TV stations showing? Let's begin! Story 1 with so many people in lockdown around the world and not being able to go outside, what are people doing about their dogs? Dogs should be taken for a walk at least once a day, if not more. But if people are not allowed to go outside, what can people do? Well, one man in Limassol, Cyprus, found the answer. Use a drone to take your dog for a walk. By flying the drone connected to the dog from his balcony, Bakis Dimitriou managed to make sure that he was being responsible by social distancing himself from others while still making sure that his dog got the exercise that it needed. Story 2 Japanese schools have been closed since the beginning of March. However, because the Japanese school year ends in March, with the new school year beginning in April, many school students will miss their graduation ceremonies due to the closed schools. Some elementary school students decided to hold their graduation ceremony in the safest place that large numbers of people can be in the same place, online. 
in the computer game called Minecraft. The best part is that this was completely the student's idea and teachers were not involved in coming up with this plan. Story 3 The lockdown means that many people are unable to go outside to exercise. This man, who loves running, has found a creative solution running a marathon in his apartment. One French runner recently ran a 26.2 mile marathon on his 23 foot balcony. It took him 6 hours and 48 minutes to complete the marathon. The French runner saw it as an opportunity to extend my support to the entire medical personnel who are doing an exceptional job, he told the Associated Press. However, if you are thinking about doing something similar in an apartment, please be considerate to your neighbours below you. Story 4 Sports events are being cancelled all over the world. For TV stations in America, that only broadcast sports, not having any sports to show is a bad situation. Some of the sports networks have resorted to the next best thing, showing sports video games. Star players from the NBA or National Basketball Association have played each other on the sports video game NBA 2K20 on TV to the delight of sports fans all over America. It's not just basketball. The motor racing sport, NASCAR, has also turned to drivers racing each other online. The first broadcast of the motor racing video game was shown on Fox Sports on March 22nd and had 903 thousand viewers, making it the highest rated esports TV program to date. Now let's look at the answers. Where is the man when he is walking his dog? He is on his balcony. Why will many Japanese school students miss their graduation ceremonies? Their schools are closed. Why did the man run a marathon on a balcony? To extend his support to the entire medical personnel doing an exceptional job. Without live sports, what are some TV stations showing? Sports video games, esports. Take time to look at these new questions. You can either try and answer them now, and I will show you the answers in just a moment, or go back to the time shown to listen to the story again. These questions will be in the description. You will not be able to read the questions unless you see them in the description. Why doesn't the man want to go outside to walk his dog? Where is the safest place that large numbers of people can meet? How long did it take the French runner to complete the marathon? Have these new broadcasts been successful? The answers are why doesn't the man want to go outside to walk his dog? He is social distancing. Where is the safest place that large numbers of people can meet? Online, in Minecraft. How long did it take the French runner to complete the marathon? Six hours and 48 minutes. Have these new broadcasts been successful? 
Yes, the motor racing broadcast was the highest rated esports TV program to date. And that's it. A transcript has been put in the description if you want to check something again. Otherwise, how do you feel about this story? Have you been forced to stay at home during this time? What have you been doing when stuck at home? Which of these is your favourite story? Why? Please feel free to leave your answers in the comment section below, as well as any other thoughts or opinions you have about this story. Subscribe for more videos like this, as well as a variety of English learning videos. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye bye.